In this module, you will learn about the Chola dynasty. The Cholas ruled from the 9th century to the 13th century and secured a firm hold on many areas in Tamil Nadu, Andhra and Karnataka. They spread Indian culture in foreign lands, constructed grand temples and encouraged Tamil literature. The Cholas were under the Pallavas in the beginning and later became independent. Sangam literature states that Karikala Chola was the founder of this dynasty. Vijayalaya Chola made Tanjavur as his capital and revived the kingdom. King Raja Raja the first was an able administrator. He expanded his kingdom and strengthened its foundations. The Cheras, Gangas and Pandyas were overpowered by him. He built a strong naval force, captured Sri Lanka and began overseas trade. He built the Brihadeswara temple. He greatly influenced the politics, economy and culture of Sri Lanka, Malaysia and Singapore. The Chola Empire became weak during the rule of Rajendra Chola III and the Pandyas easily overpowered them. The administrative system of the Cholas was able and efficient. The kingdom was divided into Mandalam, Kotvangi, Nadu, Kurram and Tarakurram or village. There was a committee of subjects called Ur in every village. The highlight of the Chola administration was the development of the self-governance of the village in the form of Grama Sabhas. Every Kurram had a village committee named Mahasabha whose members were chosen through elections. Sanskrit scholars and rich people were allowed to stand for them. The tax collected was one-sixth part of the land revenue. The Cholas constructed many lakes, like the Bellandur Lake near Bangalore. They built a huge pond in Gangai Konda, Cholapuram and paid special attention to irrigation. Being Shaivites, the Cholas built many Shiva temples. The Brihadeshwara temple in Tanjavur is a fine example of Chola art and architecture. The temple is about 500 feet tall, has a 250 feet wide courtyard and a 200 feet tall chikara. King Rajendra built the Choleshwara temple. The Cholas built the Sri Aparameya Swami temple near Chanapatna. The Panchalingeshwara temple in Begur near Bangalore. And the Mukti Nateshwara temple located near Binnamangala in Karnataka. The temples also functioned as economic and cultural centers. The idols of this time such as Shiva, Ganapati, Vishnu, Durga and Kartikeya are famous. Agraharas were established by the Cholas to encourage education. Among these, the Uttara Meruragraha is famous. The temples were centers of education and religious activities. 
Tamil literature found an all-round development during this period. Ramayana written by Kamba, Periya Purana composed by Sekilar, and Thirukta Deva's Jivika Chintamani are some noteworthy works of this period.